What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're making beautiful grilled chicken burgers. Stay tuned. Let me introduce you guys to all the ingredients that we've got here today that we're going to use with this beautiful grilled chicken burger. Over here we've got some avocado oil, you can use normal olive oil if you like, mixed herbs, a lettuce head, we've got some lemon here, red onion, parsley and a few other things on the left here that we're going to incorporate in this beautiful dish. When we talk chicken burgers, there's so many ways you can do it. You could slap that thing, you could just use it like that, cut it in half, you can really do whatever you like. We're going to show you one of our recipes today and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. I had to clean these fillets as we didn't get them clean from the store. I had to remove the skin and the bone. I didn't want to bore you guys with that, that's done now. When you look at this chicken fillet, you can see it's not evenly thick, and therefore, we need to make sure that this chicken fillet gets evenly thick. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. What you don't want is to cook this thin piece over here perfect, and then this piece over here will be underdone. So what we wanna make sure, as I said, same size, same thickness, we don't really care what the thickness is, as long as it's pretty equal across the board. Let's sort the chicken out quickly. First of all, you want to add a little bit of oil to your chicken breasts. Let's do that. We've used avocado oil. You can use whatever oil works for you. Then you just want to mix it slightly like that. Just make sure the oil touches the breasts everywhere. And then these babies are ready to be knocked out. I normally turn these guys over like that so that these edges over here do not get full of the oil because you know what? It's quite a messy situation, this. Right, let's get these beautiful pieces in here. I'm gonna do one at a time. So you just wanna flatten it out like that, get all the air out. Once the air's out, close it. You can see we've got two sides to this. I'm gonna use the fine side. You don't wanna smash it too much. You just wanna get it equal, as I said. Also, note the size of your bread, your bun, whatever you're gonna use. So try and stick around that area as well. All right, let's do this. Right, I'm quite happy with that, if you guys can see there. If you look at the size, look at my hand, there you go. Normally I would stop halfway, but what we want to do here today is we want to make a double chicken cheeseburger. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to get the rest ready. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Now that we've leveled the playing ground, the playing field of these beautiful chicken breasts, now it's time to spice them. We're going to marinate these guys for about half an hour to an hour. If you've got more time on your hands, keep it in the fridge for about, let's say, four hours. So firstly, I'm going to put a dash of mixed herbs in there. There you go. You can be very generous. A little bit more of our avocado oil. Remember, guys, it's a marinade, so don't be shy. It needs to mingle in there. I'm also going to add some lemon. All right, you can use your hands. We've got a device here that's going to work perfect. We want to use a whole lemon. We want to add some parsley to this marinade. There you go. Just half a handful. That'll be perfect. Thereafter, a clove of garlic. Then it's time to mix all of those beautiful ingredients. That's what we're after. A little bit of green. The flavors are really popping already. I think marinating this in the fridge is really gonna do its job perfectly. Once we've done that, it's time to put it in a Ziploc bag into the fridge. 30 minutes later, I'm gonna see you guys. You know this is gonna be a beautiful dish. While we wait for our chicken breasts to marinate, we're gonna get our garnish ready. Let me show you how to do that. So we've got a whole head of lettuce here. You don't have to use the whole one. You obviously have to work out how many buns you're gonna make, how many burgers, and therefore decide how much you're gonna cut. So basically, I'm gonna use maybe a quarter of this whole head. Not too fine, but small enough. Remember, this is gonna be a garnish. And it's really gonna complement this beautiful chicken burger that we're making here today. Then it's time for our red onion. Basically, we want to take half a red onion just to cut it in rings. We're going to use that on the top of our burger. And then remember to our garnish, you want a little component there that's also a little bit crunchy. And we're going to cut up the rest of the onion. We might use a second one. Let's see. Right, then it's time for some spices to this beautiful garnish that we've got here. 
salt and pepper to taste. Got some oregano, a little bit of cayenne pepper, just for a little bit of a kick there. And then we've got some paprika. Then to make a beautiful sauce with this garnish, got some mayonnaise here. I'm gonna do about three heaped spoons, half a cup just under that. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce, just like that, I would say one and a half teaspoon. Then it's time to mix these beautiful ingredients all together. Let's do that. This is really going to complement this dish to the next level. Remember, you guys don't have to do this. You can use old school, just lettuce and garnish it with tomato, whatever else you like. We just like doing this. It really gives a beautiful texture and complements this beautiful dish. I always mention this. Do have a small taste. Make sure that if this needs a little bit extra salt, pepper, that you could fix that right now. Beautiful. This is exactly what you're looking for. Guys, now is a good time as any to mention to you guys that we've got a membership going at the moment. For you guys looking for extra perks, dropping a video here and there and there's other perks. It's one way of um, really supporting us in a financial way and it allows us to carry on with great content and give back to you guys as well. If you can't do that, we still love you two bits. Let's get on with this video. We're gonna prep our rolls. We've got Portuguese rolls, as you guys can see there. They're really fresh. So we want to have a crisp component as well. And you know what, the burger, in our opinion, the bun should be grilled at least a little bit. Scorched, if you wanna call it that. Let's do this. It's gonna be a direct cook today. So you could line up all your coals right here in the middle. We like to get that grill warm. So let's sort that out quickly. a few things to remember you've got the presentation side of the chicken and you've got the other side you want to put the presentation side down first it's just something we like to do for beautiful grill sear marks that you're going to get um, obviously in this case we're going to add some cheese so you won't be able to see that side we reckon it's going to take about four minutes so about two, two and a half minutes aside. Guys, this is chicken, it's a very quick cook. In about a minute's time, we're gonna turn these chicken pieces, 45. Another minute and a half, we're gonna turn them over. And then a minute later, we're gonna turn them at 45 again. And then add our cheese, and these guys are gonna be beautiful. You guys will see, I wonder if you can see on the camera, that in the next minute, it'll be pink over here, and it's starting to get whitish on the sides. That means it's really, cooking and it's ready to be turned so let's turn them quickly guys it's so tender it's just falling apart it's part of the game eh? that happens as well it's four minutes now and i think it's time to add our cheese all together this beautiful chicken breast we're on this fire for about five minutes four minutes we added the cheese 30 seconds to a minute later, with the lid closed, they were ready. I want to show you guys some searing marks. We expected a little bit more, but I wonder if you guys can see there. Have a look there. That's exactly what we're after, hey? Beautiful. First of all, we need to add that beautiful garnish that we prepared. So, go ahead, put a generous helping on that bottom part of that hamburger that we're busy with. That's beautiful, just like that. Then it's time for our chicken. First breast is going on. And guys, you know the story. We need to add another. Then we need some onions. We've got some beautiful red onion rings here. We're just gonna add to the top here. As always, you guys can see, we're really building a monster here. That's not the intention. And then two gherkins. There you go. On the top part of this beautiful burger, I'm gonna add, basically, it's a chili nice, mayonnaise based sauce. A little bit of chilliness to it. Let's just spread it a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Guys, there comes together the perfect chicken burger in our eyes. And this is gonna be beautiful. Guys, it's that moment, that time. I don't know if you guys can see. Have a look at that. That's beautiful, eh? Let's cut these babies up.
Guys, this is awesomeness. Have a look at that. Hey? Sure, this looks beautiful. Cheers, boys and girls. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is crazy. This is absolutely divine. Guys, this is beautiful. It's truly amazing. It's a chicken burger. It's easy to make, prep work, maybe 10 minutes, then rest it, you know, you marinate, and then five minutes in the fire. Guys, this is something you need to try. Well, you guys know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.